What's up everybody, it's Shatter20 here, and today I'm playing NHL 13 for the Xbox 360. Now, real quick, before I get anywhere into this, high internet, oh, Jesus. Before I get into this at all, I want to formally apologize for the last video I've uploaded, uh, it'll be before this one. It's up right now, actually. Well, it, it was up. I'll probably have ended up deleting it by now. But, um, as of right now, it's still up. It is named the Three, Am the Three Amagos Return, I believe it is. And, um, for some reason, it didn't record. It recorded, like, you'll hear my voice, you'll hear, uh, Chad and Alex's voice, who's in this one right now. Perfect. Um, but you won't hear, but you won't see anything. And it was, it was an issue because I tried to get a better, I tried to get more frames per second with Dazzle so that, uh, it would be better for your viewing pleasure. And I ended up fucking up the entire thing, so we shot six videos last night. One of them, one of them, is able to go up on YouTube and stay up. The other five yeah, are done. Yeah, that was the elite team one. Yeah, that we lost in 8.5 seconds. I think that 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 has to be well, technically not. I was about I was about to say that has that beats. I think that beats um, Boston's record of losing it all in 17 seconds. But no, because they lost two goals in 17 seconds. We only gave up one with 8.5 left to go. So technically, we lost it in around. 59.51.5 seconds. So, technically, I don't know. Um, anyway, Hockey King's time. Hopefully this one will go well. I've tested it out a lot. Uh, let's do this. Um. How the fuck did you get that fucking... <laughs> It's almost if the game knows. Like somebody at the game, that someone at EA is like, if anybody types this in, this is what it means. Just blank it. <laughs> anyway, um, here's a little popular thing for you. And, and we were talking about this a bit before we started recording. I said, guys. Let's save this for the video because this will be something that people who are watching this can watch and say, hey, I relate to this. And it was the um, the jerseys. The jerseys, NHL 14, the logos, everything. Why is there goalie number 99? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Fucking A. NHL really needs to fix that. I'd be surprised. Yeah, but I'd be I'd be surprised if in, you know I just noticed something. My numbers. Mine. You'll have to figure it out, but it it has to do with one of my favorite players, like my favorite legend players. You'll carry this one, not a lot of pressure up to Same school. height, same way. Is it 90? It's 90 something. Oh, damn. <laughs> you gotta leave the fuck My up. Why is our goalie 99? I thought... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he certainly doesn't... He, don't, he certainly... He certainly don't play like no great one. Anyway, let's go back to whatever... What I was saying, though. Um, wait, wait, wait. First, this goes, off, this goes off of a chat. This goes off a of chat. Oh, fuck, I couldn't get around the fucking uh, Well... Right there, right on chat. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. he slams his thing. Oh, yeah, Look at it, like... I'm, 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 I'm. No, chat's like, it's my, chat's like, it's my fault. So let me just smack you with my face. <laughs> there I am, back there. <laughs> but no, if, um, if any... Oh, fuck. But if anybody does get the reference to my centerman, uh, he was the great... Jeremy Roenick, who's now a great commentator, well, great player. Um, and he was number 97, played for many things, and it just a little bit of a kudos to him, so I made my number 97. That's the only time you'll ever see my jersey tucked, by the way, is when I'm playing center. Every other time, it's, ne it's never tucked, I can't stand it tucked. This will be the one time you ever see it tucked, just because that's the way Roenick always did it, so. That's that, in case I'm always wondering. Anyway. Um, uh, Winter Classics, <laughs> what, uh, dude, you were asking about Pittsburgh's jersey. 
point. Yeah, because... Uh, I, I yeah, I read it. I read something online. They are going to completely Over scrap Blue Here Jerseys. The first. Completely. Goal is given his they are scrapping the lead. idea and but saying... What was with the Blue, the blue Jerseys, jerseys were to go back to a retro time. Because I guess I guess someone in Pittsburgh, as stupid as the fuckers are, said, "Hey, we've never had blue in our jersey before. Let's make that our retro look." And the fucking idea was born, and everybody ate it up. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I don't care. Why. But no, now they're go Pittsburgh's gonna go back to basically what I call Yager time. Which was when Yager played for him back in the 75th anniversary of the NHL. They, they say that they're going to go back to the uh, yellow and black of the Penguins. The yellow and black of Pittsburgh. Because now they're black and gold. White, black, and gold. And they're not black and yellow. So they're going to go back to black and yellow. Because if you think Pittsburgh, you think Pirates. Black and yellow. You think Steelers. Black and yellow. You think Penguins. Nope. Black and gold. It, well, I, I don't think it's, it's not black, it's not gold, it's more like a tan. I, you know, it's a gold, because if you look at, no, it's, well, it's, it's really I'm, looking gold, at, I'm looking at, I'm looking at a gold. sticker right now, and that's more yellow than it is tan. Because the Black Hawk sticker is tan. I have, I have, I have five things laid up there, because it came out of like a little fat head tree. What in the fuck? Anyway, no, they're gonna go back. They're gonna go back to having. I'm not sure what's going on. I get it. But they're gonna go back to having the black and yellow. So that that will answer. All right, who switched it to normal? Like, it, Whoever switched to face off to normal was fuck this team up. Oh, okay. Um, but no, basically, basically. That's what, the, that's what they're going to go with. So, there's that. Now, I'm wondering, though, let, let's talk Let's talk NHL 14 demo. Okay, let's talk that for a bit. Well, first, first, actually, before we do that, since we're on the topic of Winter Classics. Watch out, right? He's going to take your puck. Pits, or Detroit, Toronto. January 1st, Detroit, Toronto. First off, I want to know who the hell picks these teams to go against each other in winter classes. Like, seriously. Fucking Anaheim, Los Angeles. Are you kidding me? Could you pick a worse? I mean, Calgary, Vancouver, I could see. All right, that's a that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty good rival. Boston, I'm surprised we haven't seen Boston, Montreal. They should do rivalries for every single one of the winter classics. Because everybody thinks it's a winter classic. You're going to check your... They're going to cut over. Well, see, they, they all think that you're going to check your ego at the door, and you're going to go out there and have fun and for it. No. It counts for points. It counts towards your season. You're going to fucking wreck it. You're just going to fucking right mash there. the kid. Whether or not you're outdoors playing or you're in a stadium. It doesn't matter. I don't understand who put Detroit... And Toronto. I could see Detroit. They're one of the best teams in the league. Yes, by far. But why put... Well, see, Chicago's got Pittsburgh. And I see where they're going with that. I think they're trying to get the whole best team in the East versus best team in the West deal. That can be argued. Yeah. Because a lot of people will say, well, but it, it's definitely between Chicago and Detroit. But then you have, you've got Pittsburgh, you've got Philly, you've got New York. You've got a lot of teams in the East, plus Carolina's there. Well, I think, I think more, I think it'd be more uh, Pittsburgh or Boston. Well, I think if you're going to go top three, Boston, Pittsburgh, Philly. Easily. Top three. I, I guarantee you they will. I guarantee in the East? Are you kidding? Have you seen their? Have you seen their last? All right, well, this who, are gonna in, who, who are you gonna put in? Who who are you gonna put in the East with them? Fucking the Islanders? Seriously? They did better than the Flyers. This bullshit. Look it up. Well, you see, I, I, well, t I guess they did technically because they made the playoffs. Silly thing. I mean, you can't you can't go off of one season though. Because there have been times, there have been, yeah, but there have been times that Pittsburgh has gone completely ass backwards and not made the playoffs or got eliminated the first four games. And 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 I mean, if if we were going by just one season, fucking a, I'd pick those seasons every day. 
But when people think Eastern hockey, they think they think New York, Boston, Philly, Pittsburgh. Those are the four teams they always think of when they say Eastern hockey. No, I think they think our division. Oh, our division oh yeah. Is oh yeah. Well, well, see, they did that already because that was the original. That was the original plan for Winter Classic. It was gonna be they were gonna do the original six teams in the NHL, put them all up together, and that was gonna be the Winter Classic. Then they started running out of teams, and they went, well, shit, now what? And basically, what's gonna happen is is they're gonna ruin Winter Classic. They're going to ruin All right, because the Winter Classic was special. It was one hell of a way to kick off the year for a hockey team. Because personally, for me, like, I would much rather watch the Winter Classic at midnight than watch Rockin' New Year's Eve with Dick Clark. I, I mean, really, come on. Well, yeah, true. I mean, that's kind of a steeple of, of American culture. Rockin New Year's. What are they gonna What are they gonna do with Rockin' New Year's Eve this year? Because Dick, Dick Clark's no more, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, I thought he died, but I wasn't sure. And I was thinking that earlier because I saw that somewhere, and I'm like, isn't he? But wait a second, what are they gonna do now? I mean, they can't say it's. I'm probably gonna bring some other guy in. I, I, actually, no. I'm, I'm pretty. I, I, I would be, I would be shocked. If they, if they remove the whole, <laughs> I'd be surprised. I'd be very surprised if they remove Dick Clark's Rock and New Year's Eve. They'll, they, it'll, it's just one of them things. They're never gonna remove Dick Clark. From. Even, even years, even years after he's gone, it's one of them things. They're not gonna take it from. Because that, when you think New Year's Eve, that's the first thing you think of. When, well, when you think of New Year's Eve, you think of the giant ball, you think of a New Year, you think of champagne, oh, kissing, blah, blah. Area. But when, if you're thinking TV on New Year's, you're either thinking oh, Dick Clark or hockey, one of the two. Because there ain't nothing else on. But, I don't know, because, I mean... I I would be like like Chad was saying before though I would be I, I I'm kind of eager to see Detroit's jerseys. There I I have a feeling you're gonna see a repeat of Philadelphia's or of uh, New York's jersey. You know that. No no no, but I'm talking that off white. You know what I'm saying? Like that fucking weird ass tan kind of off white thing. It's like not an eggshell. It's 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 a tan. But you're probably going to see that with an old Detroit logo. Actually, wait a second. They already released them. They already released them, remember? They released them for last year. Because Toronto's jersey looked fucking weird as shit. Because the Maple Leaf had like eight fucking leaves on it. Instead of the, the six like normal. You know what I'm talking about? They, they, look, they look like if you go to Toronto right now under jersey selection and hit the up wheel three times. You, you, you get that kind of one thing where it's like a huge fat leaf that looks weird as shit. Looks like a goddamn octopus threw up. It, it, it just says Toronto in it. Uh, that's that's what the Toronto one looks like. Ronin for the win, baby. That's what the Toronto one looks like. And then Detroit's had a really old looking, like like you know how now the kind of the wing on it is real sharp and good. This one's more kind of fluffy looking, wooly, feathery looking. It's weird. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, there's a couple of them I'd like to see. Like Chicago. Chicago is going to be a fun one to see. Because the last time they had a really old jersey. I mean, Chicago is the one that had a fucking... Oh, that's Ottawa. Never mind. I was thinking Chicago was the one that just had red... What a red tan and black stripes with a giant O in the middle of their jersey. And that was their jersey for a year. But that was Ottawa that I was thinking of. That was weird. But here's another one. I would be surprised if you don't see the Hockey King logo as the King's jersey. So they have a 62 right wing and a 75 center. Huh? And their 62 is out. Not. You took out their high player, right. but I took out their captain. How many shots do I have? Four. Fuck! How's Dugan beating me in they shots? Have six beat, 
Badge has E hits, I have three. I don't think I have any hits, but I don't You're care. Fucking six foot nine. Anyway, anyway. Anyway. Anyway, here's another thing to think about here. Let's let's let all right. Let's talk, guys, guys, guys. Let's talk NHL 14. I know this is this is a pretty big topic. A lot of people go on YouTube to to listen to what uh, people have to say about it. So let's give the people what they want. What uh, what are your guys' thoughts on NHL 14? The, the, I mean, for me, the Enforcer engine, full, 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 full. fucking a man. I, I think I think the hitting is good, but I think in some cases it's made too much. Well. Well, yeah. Well, see, I played it. Well, I played it on rookie mode. Just kind of mess around a bit, and it was literally you. Mer you merely. I think I th thought I missed a guy by about a foot, and that kid was halfway across the ice, still flying. I mean, rookie mode is yeah. ridiculous, but I, I think I think if you play it on expert mode, the goal scoring is going to be hard as hell, but the hitting is going to be more of a of a of not a focus point, but it's going to be a lot easier. Because like right now in expert mode, you if I would even go up and try and hit the guy. He would be like, fuck you, and just push me right down. But there's a, the, the other good thing is, is now you can't go up to hit somebody, fucking line them up, make a beeline for them, and drill them, and just have them kind of stumble over and skate away. That's the part that, that's the part that I like. Uh, what do you guys think? Jesus. <laughs> Now, have you guys used the, uh... Like, seriously, I had my guy the fucking duck for that, Chad. What? <laughs> he put a rage in face. Oh, not my Now, now, have you guys used... <laughs> Fucker, put it right in <laughs> Now, have you guys... <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, have you guys used the, uh, one-touch deep Yeah, I don't really oh, like those. I, 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 I fucking love them. They're awesome. For a person who can't deep. Yeah, I uh, well, yeah, well, you can't deke, that's like their favorite, well, see, but, for I mean, a person who can't deke, that was an awesome addition to the game. Just, just because the way it is, is I can be skating up, just hit that button, and it's immediately it just deeks for me, and it, it makes the right choice of deeks. It's so, like if I'm going to the left, so if I'm going to the left, okay. <laughs> What is it? Is it? What is it? 32? No, it's just one two. But, but for me, how do I say it? For for the guy who like who's like me who is like if if he's going right and there's a guy right in front of him. How is that not offside? It, it makes the right decision in Deacon. That's what I'm trying to say. It's nice. I like it. What in? The I don't know. Fuck? I just like just go fuck the goalie in the head. I I saw all I saw was a puck and I just don't launched call it. For it. That's up now. That's a and a um. <laughs> yeah. That's 65, baby. Hey, I'm not a goal scorer. I'm a fighter. If, if they tracked penalty minutes, I'm sure I would have reached 10,000 a long time ago. Actually, I would like to see that. I want to know how many penalty minutes I So what I'll do is, is I'll find out, and then I will... Dugan, I knew you were coming for me. That's why I immediately shot it off. Well, I thought I was going to get it. I didn't think you were going to get it. That's why I made sure I picked it up. It was my puck. I was picking up my own rebound. You almost came to steal it from me. You should have passed it to me. Well, you should have got in my fucking way. You worked it. You got in my way. I didn't get in yours. I s no, no, no. Come on, Chad. Oh, no, oh, you. no, oh. You. no you I was going to say. Yeah, but the thing was, was I had an emp I had a pretty much empty net. I mean, it was good as gold for me. Yeah, it's because of the pass. No, it was a shot. I shot it off the goalie. No, 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 I passed it to you. No, I was passing the goalie moved over, which left the whole big wide open net for you. Not that right time. That. Not that. Watch the YouTube video. I'll give you the exact oh, time. Oh, you, you. 1945. Wait, you come on, What? 
I wasn't paying attention. Do it after you you called for it. I'm not actually sure what the hell just happened. I was taking a look at the time. I... That's in. That's an 87. Dugan called for it and it bounced off me. Actually, if you saw the replay, it's right in your fucking face. The Chad just called for it. Jer the jersey, the jersey was tucked. I think we, I think we all called for it. I'm pretty sure we did. Wait, wait. It All right. Put it this way. There's both Chad and Dylan. We all called for it at the same time. <laughs> All right. Well, who got it? Not one of Dugan should have picked it up. Dugan should have picked it up. Actually, first look at it goes right across Chad's stick, then to mine, and then the other guy gets it. That is amazing. That is amazing. We all called for that at the same time, and not a single fucking person got it. Chad. Fuck off. Of course! <laughs> fucking at 71 guy to fuck this over. Come here. <laughs> oh, this is the guy who I knocked out. That's their, that's their captain. Are you serious? You had to punch him once and he would have been knocked out cold. He did punch him once. But anyway, um, let's talk a bit more hockey because I know a lot of people... Why the fuck? A lot of people have been messaging me saying... In your videos, you're not talking to me. You guys are just randomly talking about shit nobody knows about. And that's why a lot of them don't like the videos. So... That's, that's not okay. See, they're my viewers, though. And this is, was a really quick game. This only took, like, 22 minutes. Um, I scored this game, not you. Hey, I... Yeah, because of me is the reason you scored. That was actually because because of your outstanding defense, Chad. We lost. The That's true. Because two of them went on, dude. Two of them bounced off of you. We wish you a pleasant. No, the one bounced off of you. The other one bounced off. I'm not sure how that bounced. But couldn't get off behind the fucking goal. And the third one is all fucking on all of our faults because that third one was amazing. All right. Anyway, this is a pretty good one. Um, yeah, I'm. St I'm still trying to find, well, I'll mention that next game. But anyway, thank you all for watching. See ya. Have a fabulous rest of the day. Good night, guys. 12 hits.